The trial of Gennaro Garcia Luna, who was once the top security official in Mexico, is underway in New York City. He is charged with bribery and colluding with drug traffickers. He allegedly took millions of dollars in bribes from drug lord El Chapo. Garcia Luna was arrested in Dallas in 2019. Dre Clark is live in New York with the latest on that trial. Good morning, Dre. Mitch, good morning. Prosecutors say Gennaro Garcia Luna provided a clear path for members of the Sinaloa drug cartel to run drugs into the U.S. without fear of capture or consequence by law enforcement. Yesterday, prosecutors called members of the DEA, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, and the New York Port Authority to discuss the various ways drugs were being brought into the U.S. and the vast amounts of cocaine seized right here in New York City. For example, agents testified between 2002 and 2003, they seized close to 4,000 kilos of coke right here in New York City. In fact, one of the agents saying the biggest drug seizure of his career happened in 2002. Now, this is important because it's alleged that Garcia Luna helped the Sinaloa drug cartel smuggle more than 50 tons of cocaine into the U.S. If the allegations against Garcia Luna are true, it means he would have been working for the cartel when these record-setting cocaine seizures happened. Former cartel members testified this week that Garcia Luna accepted millions from the cartel in exchange for providing the cartel with information about police operations targeting cartel members. Prosecutors continue to build a case explaining why Garcia Luna is guilty and how corruption is rampant at all levels of law enforcement in Mexico and the military. Garcia Luna denies the allegations and has pleaded not guilty. This was Garcia Luna's wife leaving the courthouse yesterday. Uh, she did not say anything as she was leaving, but she obviously is very worried because if her husband is convicted of these crimes, he could be sentenced to life in prison. Now, Garcia Luna's defense team says uh, most of those former cartel members that were called to testify this week against Garcia Luna only did so uh, because they, they're hoping to at least uh, have less prison time. And so their law, his lawyer maintains their uh, testimony should not be credible. Meanwhile, court is adjourned until Monday morning. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.